if you notice your buddy is having a bad day, stick around with him for just a little bit longer, even if he tells you he's all good. And the reason why I say this is because obviously, as a man, we all know that we like to solve our own problems on our own. We like to retreat, go sit with our thoughts, sit in our head, churn on the churn on the problem for a little while, think of a solution, come up with a game plan and tackle it and complete it and successfully overcome that on our own. We're not good at, or we don't prefer to work with others or seek that help sometimes. And that's okay, we're, we're dudes and that's we like to figure things out on our own. We're fixers, right? We like to come up with ways to solve things. That's what we do in our as masculine uh, beings, right? But there are times when you'll notice things with your buddies that they may just need another man uh, presence. You don't necessarily need to call them out or dig in too deep, but just sometimes if you notice your buddy's feeling a little bit something's off, hang out for a little longer. And so what do I mean by this? Well, if you see your buddy's having a bad day or seems a little bit quiet or reserved or something like that, you can just very easily say, man, hey, what's going on, buddy? How you doing today? Very easy, something like that. Uh, and oftentimes, he'll probably give you a pretty generic answer. He's not going to dive into his issues. Um, and that's okay. You're just setting that groundwork. You're laying the groundwork. And this is part of masculine leadership is gently guiding and leading people to somewhere. Uh, and this is, you know, this could be with men. This could be with women. This is what that part of that masculine leadership is all about. So he might give you a generic answer, right? Like, oh, I'm doing all right. Then you can follow up with the question like, good, man. Glad to hear it. How's the work going these days? Staying busy? Stuff like that. Again, another opportunity for him to maybe open up a little bit to get something off his chest. Or he's like, yeah, how's how's the fam doing? You know, how's your girl? You guys been, or how's, how's your girl doing? What have you guys been up to lately? Again, open up a gateway for him to potentially step into. Now, he might still not answer, and that's totally cool. You don't need to do much else at this point. But one thing that's powerful is just to be able to stay with them. And maybe you start sharing things about yourself. So if you see he's still being a little bit reticent to express things to you, just be like, yeah, that's good, man. Glad to hear it. Yeah, last weekend I went X, Y, and Z, or I've been getting into this thing lately. You ever try that? The idea here is to get him to just speak and slowly open up a little bit because I think eventually a lot of the times that, that dam will open a bit and he might share a little tidbit with you that you can then lean into. Sometimes guys just need another buddy around because as men, we know the struggles that we go through without even having to say a word. So having that extra presence can be just enough to make him feel better to get through the rest of that day and uplift his soul a bit more. Uh, the other thing that you can do if you notice your buddy is down and out is to Hey, I'm gonna go grab a, a burger, a little bite to eat, man. Come with me. Say it in such a way that's like, hey, you're not really giving him an option, but you're inviting him to come along. And if he's like, nah, man, I'm good. It's like, no, come on, real quick, man. It's on me. Go get, let's go grab a couple of burgers and just hang for a little bit. I'm hungry. You don't wanna say like, oh, I'd really like to talk to you and find out what's wrong with you. You don't need to go that route. Just be like, offer something else that you're doing with the event of creating a situation where then that conversation can come out naturally. Or you can say, hey, I'm gonna go work out for a little bit, man. Come on, let's go, let's go work out a little bit, man. Again, if he pushes back, that is an opportunity for you to be like, nah, come on, man. How long has it been since you worked out, man? Let's just go bang out a couple pull-ups and push-ups. Let's just go, let's just go get into it real quick. It'll be fun. It's, it's so easy for some guys these days to just give up too easy. Like, ah, oh, okay, you don't wanna do it, okay. And then they're gone. That, cause a lot of times, think about yourself. You might not so quickly say you wanna do something. You want someone to push you a little bit more, encourage you, pull it out of you, right? And this is the same when it goes for women. A woman might not wanna say something right away and guys who just say, oh, okay, cool, and just leave, no. 
it's our mission. We have to burst through that wall and get them to come out, come out of it. And you can use this with your buddies too. And if you can just stick around a little longer, it often will, even for men, will break down that barrier. So then they're like, okay, you know, here's what's up. And it can really make or break that guy's day. So stick around. I know sometimes we don't want to seem pushy, but that's not what it's about. Especially if it's, you know, a close buddy of yours or, you know, someone that you're good friends with. Push past that initial resistance. That is your, that's your gift of masculinity to push past that. To be able to be that bigger brother in that moment when necessary. And be like, oh, come on, man. What do you mean? I got this. I'm going to buy you. You're going to turn down a free burger? Really? You're not going to come with me and get your favorite bacon double cheese? Come on, man. Let's go do this. Make it lighthearted. Tease him a little bit. He'll reluctantly come. Obviously, if it's really not doing it, then don't, you know, then you can be like, all right, dude, well, hey, next time then, you and me, we're going to get those burgers. But try a couple times. Push past that. Don't give up so easily. A lot of the times it makes a guy feel good when you stick with him just a little bit longer than someone else would. That shows that brotherhood, that you're willing to kind of put yourself on the line to get him to, you know, to show that you care about him. So we gotta look out for each other. When you have friends that you appreciate, this is one way you can show that and build that trust. Encourage him, pull out that, uh, let him, give him a place to maybe vent something. Cause like I said, it's natural for us to just wanna get inside our own minds and do shit on our own. That's totally cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I do that all the time. I like to just sit in my, with my thoughts for a while. Just don't bother me for a little while. Um, but sometimes, you know, if a buddy is gently being like coaxing me to come out or do something, all right, you know what? Fuck it, let's go do it. So keep that in mind next time you see a buddy who's in need. Pay attention to those things. We have that instinct and we can see stuff that's going on. Use that instinct and apply it in situations like this. That's it for this one. Hey, if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I drop videos every week. And if you've got a question that you'd like to ask me, uh, you can do so down in the comments below. Or if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and discuss any uh, issue or challenge that you're going through in your life right now, you can click on the links below and also book a time with me. All right, that is it for this video. We will see you in the next one.